Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman, your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? What up, y'all? So today we're going to talk about how to find a perfect niche in your business. How many of you guys want to know how to find a perfect niche in your business? I know it was helpful for me. It helped me generate a lot of money finding that perfect niche. When I first started in business, I wanted to create a business that was for everybody, right? Like I wanted to service everybody. That's because I didn't know shit about marketing. I didn't know anything about running a business. Nobody taught me really how to be an entrepreneur. So in my mind, I was like, hey, I want to create this brand and the brand services everybody. Now, there's an old saying in the marketing industry. If you service everybody, you're really servicing nobody. So I want to help you guys identify the perfect niche in your business. Okay? So this is what we're going to do. First thing you have to do, number one, is to admit to yourself you don't know shit about what people want. You may think you know what people want, but you really don't. You know what you would like, and let's be honest, you are not your customer. Shout out to you, uh, Pastor. Pastor Jordan, hey, tell Drew, uh, Ralph Pittman, tell tell Allison, all of the, the whole gang, I said, what's up, man? Shout out to you guys for being on Bravo and... Uh, what is that? Um, Real Housewife of Atlanta. Shout out to you. Salute to you guys. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about selecting that perfect niche, right? You have to admit, the first thing you have to do is admit that you don't know jack squat about what the people want. A lot of times as entrepreneurs, we'll come into a situation and say to ourselves, I know what I would like. I would like this. And then you start creating a product and service for your damn self. What are you going to do? You can't set, what are you going to keep buying your own product? That's not how this works. So the thing that you want to do is, especially if you're already getting phone calls, you're getting inquiries, you want to create what is called, I call it a call tracking system, right? For every phone call that you're getting, you're marking down on the list of, let me see if I have it in my book. By the way, if you didn't get my Rise of the Smart Notary book, number, number one new release and top five bestseller on Amazon, you need to get that book. Let me see if I have it in here. It's called a call tracking system. And the way you do it is if you're getting phone calls from clients, for every phone call, you, you break it down into like maybe four or five categories. I'll give you an example. Like in my notary business, I have personal documents, right? Like general uh, personal documents will be like power of attorneys, stuff like that. So that would be one of them, power of attorneys. The next one will be real estate. The next one will be, um, well, what would the next one be? I'm looking at my board here. Financial. And then the other one would be miscellaneous. So for every phone call, whether the person bought my product or not, I'm marking down under its respective category, right? And I'll do this for about 30, 60. It'll be great if you could do it for 90 days. Ideally, you want to do it for 90 days, right? What, at the end of the 90 days, you, you uh, add up the sum total of each category. So like power of attorneys, I'll add all of the power of attorneys up for the 90 days. Same thing for the real estate, same thing for the financial, and then uh, miscellaneous. The number that I get at the end of the uh, 90 days, that is a clear indicator of what my niche should be in that market. Now, you have to remember, every market is different, right? Every state, every, every state is different. So you'll have to do it for every state that you're operating in. So I'll do a different one for New Jersey, same thing for Michigan, Florida, California, so on and so forth. But the numbers that you end up with 
that should be your niche because that there is a high demand for that service in your market. That makes sense? I hope that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you select the perfect niche for your business. You need a call tracking system. You need, whether it's emails or whether it's, uh, shout out to you, Omar. What's up? What's going on out there in Queens, baby? That's my Brooklyn brother, Omar, there. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's phone calls that you're receiving or you're receiving emails or, or a text inquiry. It, it's the same system. If somebody inquires about a service, you select and put a Roman numeral one under that respective category. Let me see if I can find it in this book. Uh, let me know if that makes sense to you guys, because I want you guys like 2021, man. Let's get this fucking money, man. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be a... a Using bad language. I got pastors on here. But um, let's get this money, man. Let's get this money. I want to see if I have my call tracking system on here. But do you are not your customer. You are not your customer. So don't assume that, hey, I would buy this or I wouldn't buy this. You're not your customer. So don't do not inject your buying beliefs or your buying habits into your customers. They buy different. You may not want to buy a Louis Vuitton bag. For them, they can't have enough of them, right? You might not like taking cruises because you're afraid of the water. They love taking cruises. They'd rather take a cruise than actually fly. So do not force your buying habits onto your customers. Okay, here it is right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's going to be a little bit hard to see. Let me dim my, change the color of my light real quick. Uh, no. Okay, that's a blue light, orange light. Okay, so got, can you guys see this? What that looks like? So that is the call tracking system. So for every... What is that? Okay, so I have, this section is for personal. Personal, this is real estate. This is financial documents. And this is for business documents and then other, which would be like miscellaneous, right? So for every phone call, for every inquiry that I get, I will put a line through it, right? Like a Roman numeral one right next to it. And then at the end of three months, I will sum up the total of all of it. So it's broken down in weeks, right? Week one, week two, week three, week four. So I'm doing this consistently for 90 days. After the 90 days, I'm going to sum up all the totals in each category, in its own category. So if so, in my market, because I'm in Chicago, the personal documents that won was power of attorney. So I was able to understand that power of attorneys was a high was in high demand in Chicago and Illinois. It was different in New Jersey. New Jersey was different. Real estate ranked a lot higher. Um, Ohio it ranked differently. So that is how you select your perfect niche. But again, if you guys haven't purchased my Rise of the Smart Notary book, go to Amazon, cop it. Great book, great book if you're a notary. Peace, love, and happiness, and cash flow to you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. You heard?